Holly Doodley, and welcome to I Read Books and Stuff. I'm your host, Jonah, and today I am doing my top five shamefully unfinished series. And I'm sorry I don't look that good. I am I am just getting over a cold. It's pretty bad. I was pretty much covered in my own mucus, which is a really unappealing sentence. But, uh, yeah, which is why, and I'm also dressed in the clothes that I slept in. Why didn't I put a better clothes on? Because I, this video is kind of impulsive. Usually whenever I make a video, I have to, like, I plan it out for a while. Or sometimes I just don't post it because I don't like it. But hopefully this one will be posted. I mean, um, my last video was very stupid. <laughs> I tried to make it, like, a sketch-type comedy. And, like, I wore a wig which was eventful, and it sucked. Um, I might delete it because <laughs> I've watched it and I'm like, I'm so stupid. Anyway, so on to the video. Uh, and anyway, I don't know if I said this already, but this video is originally going to be a shamefully unread books, not just unfinished series, but I realized that um, I couldn't do top five um, unread books because a good chunk of them were sequels that I haven't read, so I decided to move those to their own list, and here we go. So, let's get started. The first shamefully unread series is Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. I read the first one, which is Uglies, and this is the second one. Um, I'm, I'm going to be showing you the sequels that I haven't read, because I own Uglies, and I own the third one. Because um, I figured this is a series I can marathon, and I don't know why I haven't read this yet. I mean, I read this, like, um, let's see. I read this, I read Uglies two years ago. I might need to reread it. And I loved it. I absolutely. It was probably one of my favorite books. And I couldn't get into this one. I don't know if I saw my place bookmarked, but I, I just, it wasn't happening. I definitely plan to read this. I don't know why I haven't already. I mean, um, I love the cover. It's so clean, I guess. I don't know. Um, I, I, I just, I really want to read this book. I just haven't, and I don't know why. I'm planning to this year. Um, it's really short. Maybe that's why, because the second one was nice and long, and I can't really get, sometimes I just can't get into thin books like this, but I am going to read this. I'm forcing myself to read this before 2014 ends. I just don't know why I haven't already, because... I really want to. I really want to see what happens. I don't know, but I will be definitely reading this. I don't know why I haven't already. Next book is Legend. Well, not Legend. I read Legend, but Prodigy by Marie Lu. I don't even own Prodigy, which is why I'm holding up the first book. Um, I will definitely read Prodigy as soon as I get my hands on it. Um, I wasn't too thrilled with Legend. I gave it, it was a 3 out of 5 or I liked it. I didn't really love it. Um, I think I would have loved it if people weren't bugging me to read it so badly. This is one of those books that I felt forced to read, which kind of took me out of it. Because everybody's like, you have to read Legend, you have to read Legend. And I was in a reading slump whenever I read this, and admittedly, it did help out of my reading slump. It's fast, but it's not much more than that. I mean... It's fast paced, yes, but like it's not the plot it was so thin and frail and I feel like Marie Lou could have made it like one big book, but she wanted more money, so she made it three books. That's just messy in my opinion and the yeah, so like the plot seemed kind of sloppy in my opinion and the writing style was just flat. I don't know if I it's just flat, but apparently the second one is so much better. And my library has it, but I don't want to get it from my library because I want the series because I love the covers, and I love the spines, and I bet they look very pretty lined up together. So yes, I will be finishing the series as soon as I get my hands on it. Um, last time I found it in a bookstore, it literally looked like a piece of garbage. So I didn't get that. I didn't get it then. I got the last Twilight book, which is also a shamefully unlisted series, but I'm not going to list here because it's not that shit. So, next one. Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. I know, my first ever video was about Vampire Academy. Um, I don't know why I haven't read this yet. I loved all of the books leading up to this. Um, but there was a big space between Shadow Kiss and Blood Promise. 
Um, I don't know why. I just, I, I was in, I remember when, before I read Vampire Academy, I was in a mega reading slump. I've never been, I've never, I've never been before that and I never have been since in a bad, in that bad of a reading slump until I read Vampire Academy. And the first one, it was just so fast paced and so action-y that it just pulled me right out of the reading slump. It, like a chain was tied around my neck and Vampire Academy was a pickup truck and um, I was in like a pit of uh, reading slump and uh, Vampire Academy hit, got the pedal to the metal and, boom, and I was out. So, <laughs> and uh, and I liked them because they were fun, they, they didn't have too much intelligence to them, but they still had a lot of mythology, I don't know if that makes any sense, but like, um, they're good, I mean, they are smart, but they're not like entirely intelligent, so I could just like read it as an escape. And then Shadow Kiss, I read Shadow Kiss, and I, uh, like, Frostbite, at the end of Frostbite, who lore, I was, who, and, hmm, I was, I was just, um, I was a mess after Frostbite, and I didn't cry at the end of Shadow Kiss. I know that sounds kind of weird, but, um, I was spoiled, so I didn't cry, but I wasn't spoiled at Frostbite. I, oh, the shock that came to me whenever I read the ending of Frostbite, and if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. And I, I, I just read it, and then, and, and, like, it didn't register for me at first. I was like, no, this big of a deal will happen not at the second book. And uh, and I was shocked. I was like, no, no way. I would have been spoiled. I would have been spoiled. I, I mean, because I'm so used to being spoiled. Because this happened around the time. I don't think it, I don't know. But um, I was going to say maybe it happened around the time that Allegiant came out and I was used to being spoiled because somebody spoiled that that makes me mad, but I'll say it whenever Allegiant comes up on the list. Spoiler alert. Um, uh, where was I? Oh yeah. So anyways, I was reading Frostbite and I was just bewildered by the ending, and I, like I said, and then it it made me really depressed. And I was like, I have to read the third book. So I read the third book, and then like I said, I got spoiled, which kind of took me out of it. And then I realized this isn't Vampire Academy anymore. Like it told me it was like I I was told that it was really gonna pick up after the third book. And it did, but not in a good way for me. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I liked Vampire Academy because it was kind of two-dimensional in a good way because I could just read them and I felt like I was floating. And it, they didn't feel like real books to me. They just felt like fun times. Then the fourth book came around and it was really sad and I was really pulled out of it. But um, apparently this book is action-y and fun, so I will be reading this by the end of this year. Alright, um, third one, I think? Mm -hmm. Fourth one. And that is... Allegiant. I'm I'm my dad is currently reading my copy of Allegiant. But, uh, I haven't read Allegiant yet. And like most people, I'm very ashamed of it because I really want to read Allegiant, but... Um, let me take you back. Whenever Allegiant first came out, it was, um... It was, it was a couple days after. It was like October 25th, uh... Legion came out on October 22nd, and I was reading it. I was, like, uh, about this far into it, and this girl named, I'm not going to drop names, let's call her Shmemily, and Shmemily, she has red hair, and she's a ginger, and Shmemily, she just looked at me, and she's like, is that a Legion? And I was like, yeah, it is, I'm really, and then she just, I'm not going to say it, but she just burst out the spoiler, and I looked at her, and she looked at me, and I looked at her, and I was like, what is wrong with you? What kind of human being would just walk up to me and spoil the ending? And I have never forgiven her, ever. I still, it, it, it torments me to this day. In my nightmares, I relive that moment, and I wake up screaming. And, and it, uh, okay, oh, I, and, uh. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, where was I? Yeah, it, it was just horrifying, and that's why I haven't read Allegiant yet. Final one, and this, I'm going to lose subscribers for this. I've already prepared myself for that. And that is... Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. 
I read the first three Harry Potter books, but I didn't grow up with them because um, I was reading um, what was I? I was reading Warriors whenever I was a kid. Warriors and Guardians of uh, Guardians of Gahul. I had a thing for talking animals whenever I was a kid, apparently. And um, I read this whenever I was in uh, fifth, fourth, fifth grade. Yeah, I read the first three whenever I was in fifth grade. And uh, back then, I wasn't that big of a reader. And so whenever the book started getting big, I was like, "F that, I'm outie." And then I started reading. Um, then I started rereading books. And then no, oh, and then I read The Giver, uh, which is over there. <laughs> I don't know. If, um, you know, I hope you don't think I'm disappointing it. Then I, and then I read The Giver, and I was like, I am too, I'm too old for all of this kid stuff, and I thought Harry Potter was kid stuff, and, um, yeah, so I completely forgot about this, um, until I found the fourth one in my house, and I was like, oh my god, I haven't read Harry Potter, um, it just really dawned on me, um, and it was really scary, because I realized I'm probably the only person who has only read up the book three, and I haven't read book four yet, so, do I plan to read this? Maybe. I think, I think I've missed the bandwagon. So, that is my, uh, uh, Shameful Unread series. I know this was really long, but I have a lot to say about a lot of books. So, or top five. Did I say top ten? I meant top five. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye bye